Sometimes you're asked whether a compound dissolves better in an acid or base medium. Okay, so what you do is, now here's two compounds here. Here's AgCl again, silver chloride, and here's that chromium 3 hydroxide from before. Now, if somebody says which one of these two will d dissolve better in an acid or a base, or, or not, <laughs> okay, how do you answer that? Well, first of all, you know that these guys will break down into these ions right here. So you got the chromium 3 ion, and it breaks down into three hydroxide ions. Hey, hydroxide, right there. So here's the deal. If you take this chemical right here and you dissolve it into water, great. You get a certain KSP value. We saw it before, 6.7 times 10 to negative 31. Cool, at 25 degrees Celsius. Now, somebody says, how can you increase the solubility of that by dissolving it into a certain substance? Well, if you dissolve it into an acid, an acid will react with the base. What will that do? Draw that base out of this reaction, this equilibrium reaction right here. Which way will the reaction shift? It will shift to the right to make more hydroxide. And that means this chemical will break down into ions more, increasing its solubility. So, if you have a chemical that's got a base formula in it, you can increase its solubility by putting it in an acid. Now, what if you put it into a base? Well, if you put it into a base, it's already got lots of hydroxide in it, so if you put it into a base, you're adding hydroxide to this system right here. It shifts back this way, and it decreases the solubility. So actually, the solubility of it, the ability of it to dissolve in solution, goes down if you try to dissolve it in a base. Now, conversely, AgCl. Well, neither of these two chemicals right here react with acids or bases. Chloride ion is a neutral species in solution. It's the conjugate base ion to a strong acid. So you know what that means? That means that you can put this into an acid, into a base, and it doesn't affect its solubility at all.